name is Brooke Leggan, and I was diagnosed with melanoma three times. I felt lucky to have health insurance, but I was concerned about being underinsured since I was on a student health plan. And I was worried that I may not get the best care because I had to use the student health center as my primary care provider. It turns out that my concerns were valid. The volunteer staff at the health center was different every time I went in, and so I constantly had to relate my cancer story to a new person. That was really emotionally draining. And there was a financial burden, but luckily I was able to rely on my parents to help make ends meet. I guess that's what I learned. You can't get through this alone, so please ask for help. I was being diagnosed with cancer and I didn't know if my bills were going to get paid. And I'm not under my parents' insurance. The first couple of years I just ignored all of these insurance things because I had too much on my mind with regard to what I was dealing with. Some people have complete freedom to you know, take a chance and, and do whatever they want to do um, regardless of what the health insurance situation might be. That'll never be an option for me. So it's kind of a, it's, it's a pain. It's a definite pain. And at 25 years old, you're, you don't really uh, know how to deal with it. So all these difficulties of um, making life decisions and really what you doing what you want to do have been hampered by the fact that I have to have health insurance. We wanted to change jobs and move to a new organization. It was a really uh, exciting opportunity. And I was very fortunate that I worked with the person who was in charge of health benefits at the organization before I was hired to come up with a strategy to ensure that, uh, the, that uh, I wouldn't be uh, covered by the insurance but end up with a pre-existing condition. You have to learn how to how to ask the questions and how to navigate the system and what you need to find out is it's a real difficult bureaucracy to find your way around. And in order to do that I actually had to come on initially as a freelance employee because if I got the insurance too quickly uh, they would pick up some of my prior visits to the doctor and then count that against me. There are financial avenues out there and seek them out if you need them and don't be afraid to ask for help. I mean, people out there will do anything if you just ask for it. I was taken care of through Medicare um, disability for many years. I've just chosen to carry my own insurance, which is a, quite a bit more expensive. But to me, the, the peace of mind that I can get out of um, accessing who I want, when I want, is, is worth it. If you don't have insurance, there are a lot of government grants and foundations and organizations that would help pay for this treatment that you take. Um, it may take a lot of papers to fill out, it may take a lot of time, but it's so worth it. When it comes to understanding health insurance, knowledge is power. Health insurance laws are different everywhere, so find out what the law is in your state. It's pretty common that if you have a lapse in coverage, it's hard to get insurance again. So all young adult cancer survivors should make it a priority to maintain constant health insurance coverage, even if it means taking a job you might not otherwise. If you don't have insurance, look for other benefits you might be eligible for. Government and nonprofit agencies are there to help you get the treatment you need. And try to make a connection with at least one person at your doctor's office who can advocate for you with the insurance company in case any questions arise. If you have questions about health insurance, it is important that you talk to your doctor or contact these cancer-related organizations for more information. Thank you.